Series real versus impression. Here we go. Real. Impression. <laughs> New challenge. Two Jay Z, V10, Huracan, and a Type R all in one pose. Different approach. Here we go. Two Jay Z Nissan Patrol. Check this out.
Tutorial as promised. Here we go. Roll your tongue and use your voice. For the supercharger wine, use a voiceover, use your falsetto, and puff your cheeks. DZ, let's go. <laughs> what would happen if a R35 GTR turned into a 350Z mid drive? Let's see what happens. Cars in Tunnels, Part 1. Let's do an impression of the fastest car in the world, 1996 Toyota Camry. Yes. All right, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Tesla Cybertruck. Charge GT3 RS impression.
Fly by. Absolutely. High compression RX7. <laughs>
If I build up a lot more pressure in my mouth initially when I'm making the turbo noise, it sounds much better. Listen, this is before. This is after. Strong attack in the beginning. See? Tunnel. Tunnel. G63 tutorial. <laughs> Three steps combine your voice, your tongue, and fill your cheeks with air. You'll get a nice sound. <laughs> Subi versus Evil rival comparison. Let's go. Okay, but it probably sounds like this. Now we add a little bit of Mr. Car Sounds action. Get up, Kintani, they do good work. Roots versus centrifugal supercharger noises. This is a Roots style. This is centrifugal. Tech, baby. <laughs> gotcha. This is what it would sound like if a Subaru turned into a Lamborghini mid drive. What? <laughs> Do it. <laughs> For everyone who's watching, I'm totally faking it. Totally fake. Miata. Please react to this video. I want to see if I'm still shadow banned. My account is acting up. Thank you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Lincoln. Lincoln. Let's, Let's go. go. I don't really do diesels much, but let's try it, why not? This is my attempt at an idle. Lexus LFA V10. Hope you enjoyed. This is what a Lamborghini Huracan would sound like if it had a manual gearbox. I'm gonna make a vocal impression of this car. Let's do it.
Hey guys, so this is a video for all the haters. You guys are completely right. My account is 100% fake. I have really nothing to uh, show for it. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for your time. I'm getting ripped tonight. R.I.P. that. <laughs>at Mr. Car Sounds underscore, same exact spelling, just with an underscore. I'm going to be posting the same content there, it's just for safety. Go and follow, thanks.
What car sound am I making? Vote right now. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Step one, inhale. Step two, put your tongue at the top of your mouth and exhale. Now add your voice. Did I get your attention? Okay, watch this. Real versus impression. Here we go. Take a listen to the next audio clip and vote if it was me making the sound or if it was a Subaru WRX with the MA performance exhaust. thought that that was the MA performance exhaust you guys were actually incorrect that was my voice here's that real gnarly exhaust clip listen it is stew to too wait 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 no no let let me take care of this stew to too look 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 what the fuck people in the comments asking me how I did the wind and the flyby I didn't really intend to do this but if you blow into your mic you get a wing noise so when I did the turbo whistle kind of like sounded like wind go check out the rest of my account I'm not mr. car sounds for no reason Alright Dalton, I don't do diesels too often, but let's give this a shot. <laughs> Best sounding European six zone, there's part one. M340. Tag Xbox in the comments and let's show them what I can do. Let's do this.
guys see what I see? Do you guys see what I see? We got some kick-ass Mr. Car Sounds merchandise coming soon. I will keep you posted. Wish me luck. I'm going to try to launch very soon. Oh, that sounds so good. I got to try this. Watch. Bro, this sounds... <laughs> Okay, it's 3 a.m. My hands are filthy. I got a shower. This is what I've been doing that I haven't been posting my car sounds. I built my cousin's headlights. Cousin of the Year award goes to me. This took a lot of time. <laughs> Challenge I bet. Let's seven. go. First up, arc seven. Nice. Next up, Super STI. I bet. Appreciate the compliment. Let me actually do a sound comparison for you. So this is a super from Forza Horizon. And this is my mouth. Let's try the new lav mic on the M4. Okay, why is it hanging? Much better. Let's try the lav mic on the new M4 competition. Cold fire. Curious, this is what it sounds like when it's not plugged in. Isn't that crazy? So the reason why it sounds like that is because I bring it just a little bit closer to my mouth. So it's right here, and I'm being very loud. You see what I'm talking about? Yo, check this out. Hands are on fire now, let's go! Okay guys, this is pretty much what it looks like. This is the finished product of my cousin's E92M3 headlights. These are my headlights side by side. Comment down below, what do you guys think looks better? What do you prefer? I like both. The evolution of the BMW M3.
since you guys wanted to hear a startup and exhaust of the go-go tomato let's do it right now i hope this is a nice view let's go Here are some of the best sounding Japanese four cylinders. 4G63. F20C. Let's do some car sounds. Fast and Furious JDM Edition. This is Sean Zebo from Tokyo Drift. Hans Bale Side RX7 from Tokyo Drift. Cars in tunnels. Cars in tunnels. Matthew, thank you so much for the shout out, bro. Your diesels are awesome. I'm gonna get a crack at it. Let me know what you think. 6 0 power stroke. <laughs> Valve Cummins. Jake Brake. V10 exhaust note comparison, in which I compare three completely different sounding V10s. E60 M5. Lamborghini Huracan, same as the R8.
Alexis LFA. JDM car sound impressions. Let's go. Honor Civic with B Tech. Shit! We have the R32 Skyline GTR. Dorito Arc 7. You already know. European cars and their stupid soft limiters. Europe, get with it. Cars in Tunnels Part 2 that sound. It says voiceover in the video. Okay. So read. Please. Damn. Shoot. Let's do a real or impression of the Toyota Supra fitted with the MA performance exhaust. Listen to the following clip and vote. Let's go. If you guys thought that the previous sound was actually me, you were actually right this time. Now let's listen to the beautiful tone on the MA Performance exhaust system. Let's go. Part 2! In this video, we're going to be doing an impression of a 4-cylinder engine. The German 5-cylinder. Twin turbo V6 out of a Goja. 
And everybody's favorite Hellcat V8, you know. So be rumble, baby. Quoi la V6 Twin Turbo Everyone loves a good V8 Voice over for the supercharger, don't bash me in the comments More car sounds. With the microphone. Pretty much any Ferrari V8. V10 engine. Last but not least, a V6 muffler delete. Unfortunately, I know how to make this sound and it's very annoying. So these are your 350Zs, your Q50s, your, your, your EcoBoost American cars. Jesus Christ, help you. Anyway, here we go. Okay, what you're gonna do first step, okay? If you can roll your R, <laughs> Like, hmm? try that. Keep it going for a few seconds. Two, match the pitch of the with your voice. Progress upwards. Practice. That's all. In this video, I'm going to do an impression of a four cylinder engine, a six cylinder engine, an eight cylinder engine, and a 10 cylinder engine. Here we go. This is a 4G63 four cylinder engine. Here we go. This is a 2JZ GTE out of a Supra inline six cylinder engine with a turbo. Supercharged Hellcat V8. Here we go. This is a V10 out of an R8 and a Huracan. Same engine. Sounding Japanese four cylinders, part two. 2.3 liters, speed three. My personal favorite, the EJ20. is the hardest part you want to loosen your cheeks and stuff so you can get your tongue to roll off of the sound so it goes <laughs> ladies and gentlemen enjoy my half a million special let's go <laughs> Oh, my God. 
That's not the car. <laughs> this thing doesn't even have a turbo. What the hell? What? Mr. Car Sound? Is that you? What the hell? I thought it was the car. Yes, sir. Hey guys, this is a tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Three steps. You're gonna be using your voice, your tongue, and your lips all at the same time. So do this. Add your voice. Now the hard part is finding where to place your tongue and how fast to vibrate your tongue in conjunction with your lip vibration to create a perfect fifth interval so you can make it sound like an inline six. Very complicated, but just practice. Now for the turbo. I do a voiceover because I can't spool and make that noise at the same time. So this is the turbo. If you put both together, this is what it sounds like. Let's go. So depending on the turbo, you want it to sound like this. In order to do that, you need to follow a few main steps. Step one, use the gap between your two front teeth to whistle upwards, ascending in pitch. Step two, add your voice behind it. For the blow off, release air and your tongue will bounce off of the top of your mouth rapidly. I'm not doing that manually, it'll happen on its own. But you need to practice. And then add your voice in a descending scale. Practice. What's one ability you think you have that if you told somebody, they would look at you like you're crazy? Story time. So when I was about three years old, I was admitted to the hospital. Uh, it was an emergency. My throat was killing me. It was like really bad. My my vocal cords, it was a lot of inflammation. I, I, it might have been an infection. So, uh, and they, uh, they did like a rundown and they said that I need surgery immediately. So they put me in surgery. Um, it lasted for like 40 hours or so. They had to rearrange a lot of things. And I woke up, I couldn't talk. I was like screwed up. Um, and they told me I had to get used to the new systems uh, that they, they uh, implemented into my uh, vocal tract and my throat. And uh, they basically told me that I have now um, a new exhaust in my throat. So they, from factories, imported uh, exhaust systems. And right now what you're hearing is my voice coming out of a Remus exhaust system from Germany. That's why I can make car sounds. Let's compare some of BMW's nicest blue paint options. Excuse the dust, but this is my one of one BMW 2002 painted in B51 San Marino blue. It is the only one in the whole world painted in this color and I really love it. We're talking about one of the deepest blue purple metallic colors and it comes on the M4 CS as well as the Alcoing M6. Now let's take a look at the color that replaces that one. Let's go. And now this is a brand new 2020 BMW M5 competition. It's painted in Marina Bay blue metallic and this color replaces the B51 that I showed you guys over there. Okay, just look at the way it shines. Anyways, this car contrasts the Marina Bay blue metallic with a beautiful white interior and it gives us this very chilly vibe and I freaking love it. Personally, I like my car color better, but what do you guys think? Okay, I wanna talk about this real quick. When you guys hear that turbo flutter, it's not bad for the turbo. So many of you guys are saying that, oh, whenever a turbocharged car makes that noise, the turbine spins backwards and it's not good for the turbine and the bearings and all that stuff. You guys need to understand that the turbocharger is spinning at like 99,000 RPMs. It doesn't just stop and turn the other way, okay? It releases pressure in the same direction. The only time that it would be bad for the turbocharger is if there's a compressor surge, if it's building boost and it blows off while it's still building boost. If those two things happen at the same time, then you will have a problem. Don't you think that all these professional tuners and all these professional like race builders that use turbos, that run no blow off valve, that their cars make that noise, like they would have figured something out that it's breaking, but it's not. So think about it. All these cars on YouTube, all these like crazy 1300, 1400 horsepower cars, it's not. Hey guys, Mr. Car Sounds here. I'm gonna be showing you how to polish your headlights on the GoGo -Go Tomato so that we can bring back that factory shine. Let's go. Okay, let's start off by removing any trim pieces or anything that's not gonna let us get a maximum amount of working space. I even took the bumper off for some more room. All right. 
All right, now this step is very important. Make sure that you mask around any paint so that whenever we use that high-speed foam machine, it doesn't burn because the last thing you want is to burn the paint. I went with some 2000 grit sandpaper. I'm going to do a wet sand until that surface of the headlight is smooth and I removed every single possible scratch that I possibly could. Make sure you're very thorough with this step. Now let's use some machine polish. I'm going to put it directly onto the headlight. I'm going to get my foaming pad and I'm going to work it right into the headlight. Polish until it's smooth and look at that shine. Thanks so much for watching guys. Okay, I want to talk about this real quick. Morning, guys. If you watched that previous video, it was probably a little bit complicated. I'm not too good at explaining things. But basically, a lot of people in the comments are also saying what I should have said. Compressor surge, turbo flutter. <laughs> that, that noise. That's only bad if you're building boost and surging at the same time. If it flutters and builds boost at the same time, then it's bad. Because there are two things happening. You're building boost and releasing boost at the same time. This wears the blades of the inlet turbine and it confuses the bearings. You're going to get a little bit of excessive wear inside. But if you let off the throttle and flutter, it's fine. Okay, you, get, you have metro buses that are doing this and fluttering all the time. If you pay attention to this closely, you have... buses do this. It's fine. demonstrate for you. So what's the difference between even firing engines and odd firing engines? The difference actually lies in the shape of the crankshaft. With the Lexus LFA and its even firing V10 engine, the even firing pattern corresponds to an even degree of crankshaft rotation. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 5, 6 in that pattern. Which is why it sounds so freaking awesome. For auto firing engines such as this Audi R8 V10, the engine has uneven spaced firing, which is why it doesn't sound quite as smooth as the LFA. In this pattern, it goes 1, 6, 5, 7, 3, 8, 4, 9, 1. Did you notice the difference between firing orders? It still sounds awesome though. <laughs> 